You are listening to the City Podcast. Unadulterated, non politically correct, unfiltered, real talk. The city from the inside out. With your hosts, Chad Cranston and Steve Mealing. Jumping in on this podcast? Okay, I'm Steve Mealing. And I am Chad G. Cranston. Not for great, that's for sure. It's he called was... it's G for gangster, bro. Okie dokie. So listen, um, what I did, uh, this is the City Podcast. Thanks for interrupting, I was just going to say that. Were you? City Podcast. So this is what I did for you. I went to Mabel's, and I got some cookies. <laughs> so when you uh, decided you're going to chill out and smoke some weed, there's going to be cookies <laughs> sitting on the table, I calling got, your name out. I'm off sugar, so that doesn't matter. They're sugar-free, gluten-free, by the way. So who's our guest this week? I think I know. I think I know, too. Tell them. This is Kendall Thompson. Hi. Singer. <laughs> Song, I feel like that's songwriter, <laughs> video vixen. Oh, I like that one. Blue eyed soul. I think they're green. Green? Well, we're gonna call you blue eyed. She's, okay. she's got Irish in her, totally. Thompson's Irish. You can tell. It is. Yeah. Yeah, well, they're Scottish for sure. They're Scottish. So maybe too. there's probably Irish in there and too. You can be, you can be northern, <laughs> northern same, English. Same, but different. You can be a Jardy or a Liverpoolian. So, t- Kendall, thanks for coming. Thank you for having me. And thanks for Elizabeth letting you come. Yeah, yeah. my handler. <laughs> Elizabeth's watching over very closely right now. There's another special guest this week, Peaches. Is that her, is and that Peaches is on. Okay, perfect. See, Peaches is a star. Yeah, Peaches. So we were just talking about your football career before. Yeah, my uh, mildly successful football career. And you don't think that you're getting drafted this year? Uh, you know what? I'm, I, I think I'm going to do it. I well, think it's. I think this year is my gonna be my year. Twenty eighteen. This, this is your coming out year. Yeah, twenty eighteen. A so, psychic told me that. So you're gonna go from Banting High straight to Carolina. Where's that guy play? Uh, Kentucky. He's Kentucky. a corn. He's a Kentucky Wildcat. Kentucky. Should we Google this YouTube. for facts? Yeah, he's we Kentucky. Can go okay. Or we go like Rappaport. He's not you though, so it doesn't really fucking matter, does it? <laughs> exactly. Because he's not going first round. He's not a first round draft pick. I know, but I am. You are. <laughs> this is amazing. So listen, tell us a little about yourself. We know that you come from Alston, uh, Al- Alston, Ontario, which yeah. is what ten minutes you said outside of Barrie. Just outside of Barrie, where I grew up. Are you are you, are you an Alston yeah, girl? Are you I, a Toronto heels? Well, somewhere? well uh, her bio says Alston. So yeah, but is she, she a, but Toronto, she lives in Toronto now, right? So are yeah. you a Toronto girl? Because some Barrie girls claim that they come from Toronto. Some Barrie yeah, girls. Like Barry. I feel like I've met a couple of those Barrie girls. For sure, there's a. We should be shipping down regularly. <laughs> Right? Stock them. <laughs> Suck them down. Um, I feel like no, I guess I still consider myself an Alliston girl. I still feel connected to it. I like coming from a small town, but I've been here for ten years, so mm. yeah. yeah. Maybe well, the population in Alliston is what, twenty five thousand or I think so. It's grown so much and well, they have a since Walmart I went to now. High school, I remember traveling to Alliston from Barry to play uh, Barry North Vikings to play the band. Oh. Team. In football, the banting, because I can't even remember what they're called. Uh, marauders. It, see? Banting. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Go banting. Yeah, go banting. Right. But yeah, it, it was always marauders. a fun drive because you got, you got the, I don't know, a lot of sing-alongs. And afterwards, we usually celebrated quite heavily because banting was a small, it's a smaller town. Yeah. But back then, it was all farmers pretty much. Yeah. So is, did you grow up, like, did your family move there a long time ago? or it's No. Kind of, let's, let's do the northern girl comes to the big city. That's okay. That's kind of where we're going at, right? Yeah, I can walk you through the steps. Um, um, I've already been here for a while, so I'm yeah, good. yeah, true. Um, yeah, <laughs> thanks no. for the offer. <laughs> um, yeah, no, my dad's family's from there. Okay. So my mom was from like her family's from Collingwood, and then yeah, my dad's from a huge family from Alliston. They're an old school. Alliston old school. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah, we lived we lived downtown. Yes. Alliston. Very familiar. Right. Near the bank? Uh, <laughs> close to bank. the bank. <laughs> near, near, near the, <laughs> near the liquor bank. store and the grocery store? No, wait, the right. gas station? Near, close near to the, the grocery station. store. Yeah, yeah. Close to the yeah. gas station? Um, right and I, I actually worked at Dairy Queen. Do you remember, have you ever been to that Dairy Queen there? Uh, yes, years ago. Yeah, I was at that. I worked at that Dairy Queen for like six years. Hawking out soft cones? Yeah. Flipping blizzards. <laughs> Flipping <laughs> burgers. <laughs> Actually, the Being were awkward. <laughs> well, you would have been young. What, 15, 16? Yeah. 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 Makes sense. Six years? Did yeah, you say? Yeah, for six years. Damn. Into her 20s. Yeah. Did you get a raise? Uh, I did. I remember <laughs> I asked for a raise. 25 cents. Yeah, totally. <laughs> yeah. And she was like, how about 
eight ninety five, and I was like, yes, fucking score, making money. Yeah. I actually remember telling my parents that I made good money at Dairy Queen, and, and they laughed at me. They were like, trying to get you to go to the supermarket. Yeah. So you can make, so you can make 10, 10, 50, you know. Timmy's. Oh, yeah. No, Timmy's. You had to wake up at like 6 in the morning. Yeah, that's ridiculous. Well, you're an artist at heart. So were you always yeah. into music growing up in high school? Yeah. Uh, as a kid, did you troll around with a guitar or you just sang all the time? Uh, I sang all the time. I tried to play the guitar. I had no idea what I was doing. Like, my dad bought me a guitar at an auction and it was broken, but I, I tri- yeah, I tried to so figure it out. that was your excuse. Well, yeah. it's broken. It's now. broken. Fuck. There's something wrong with it. It's the guitar's problem. I think that's when the thought that counts comes into play. Yeah. I think so. For sure. So did you take right. music in school? Were you in the play? Yeah. I did uh, I did a couple plays, and uh, I went to Alliston Union. I did a couple plays there. I played a Mexican man. You kind of love Mexicans. <laughs> of course, yeah. right? Yeah. It's, a, it's an easy sell. Absolutely. <laughs> right? like, I have a very did, wide range did you, as an actor. Uh, my, I can just see the, the mustache that they put on you, that fake... <laughs> My Mexican. skin was orange. They painted it oh, orange. No. <laughs> you, look, you look like Trump. <laughs> <laughs> Playing a Mexican, how I right. watched it. Yeah. Right? Crazy. <laughs> Funny how things work out. Yeah. yeah. And then um, uh, they, had a, they had music classes in high school. So I took a guitar class, and that's how I learned how to play guitar. Oh, and so then I took, did learn how to Yeah, play. I did. And I do play. Because there was two videos that I found online. Yeah. One was you not playing guitar. Yes. And the other one was you not playing guitar in a video. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just, just in case. I know, unfortunately, I think the other one. You're trying to get a point across that you don't play the guitar. Yeah. I don't do that. Um, <laughs> what, get points across or play guitar? <laughs> play guitar, no. Um, yeah, unfortunately, that other video is like that, you know, that content you can't always control where uh, it's just was up. That on the but. One the podcast you did? Uh, yeah. Like, it was just like, a, a, I mean, it's good. It sounded it's good. Like a, it sounded yeah. actually really good. Yeah. I liked it. I liked it. Oh, I liked it a bit better than, than the video from music wise. That's sounded, okay. I think the song actually sounds better acoustic, but it's not judging. It's a different, it's just, yeah, it's a different song, okay. actually. That's, it's a completely different song. Is it? Yeah. So that's <laughs> what it makes yeah, sense. Yeah, totally <laughs> would you rather go? You wouldn't know rough? I have 25 years plus in the music <laughs> industry, but I can't. Yeah. <laughs> Well, you were a DJ. I am a details coordinated guy. Oh, anyway. Did you ever play an instrument? You? Peaches. What? Did you ever play an instrument? I played the turntables, dude. For the play the turntables. Wiki wiki wiki. Not press buttons. I actually mix records. You did. You have a you have a wide collection of records. That's part of the record collection. Would you be willing to sing acoustically on this podcast? If I had to song. Did you bring your guitar? I did. Oh. Well, my ukulele. Your oh your ukulele. Oh so God, where'd you peaches. go from there? So you're in high school, yeah. you did that. Did you go to university? No. I college. totally bailed. I bailed on all of that. Same here. So I get it. So you chased yeah. your dream. Yeah. So how did you go from living in Alliston, which is just outside of Barrie for people who want to find a map, <laughs> or if you're used to going to the cottage going south back to Toronto, the McDonald's stop that's no longer there. Yeah, RIP. That's pretty much the Alliston exit. Actually, it is. It, it is, yeah. Mm-hmm. So were you like, you know, did you have ambitions to become a singer is that why you moved to toronto or did you just move to toronto because fashion lifestyle nightlife um no i totally moved to become a singer to pursue yeah okay so how did you yeah. make your way down here um so a good friend of mine went to U of T, and you know we had this dream where like we would all move into this house together and we would live in toronto and live in this and house downtown, downtown. yes yeah. So that was supposed to, I thought that was going to happen um, her first year, but she did the whole uh, dorm, the dorm thing, yeah. So I just came down a lot, and then the next year, I moved down with a, a, her like former roommate and the roommate's sister, and then this girl who was fucking crazy. <laughs> Sounds like my kind of girl. <laughs> she was so... Was she absolutely a nut bar? She was so nuts. S- stories. It didn't happen. It so was you, crazy. Do you, do you guys know each other for that long? No. You're just on the job, on the clock right yeah. now. Look at her. She's, I get it. She's playing mute right now. That's good. We will, get her, we will get her to talk to her later. <laughs> I'll just swear more. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
Yeah, and so I actually lived, I lived in that house for so, like, I basically, like, burnt that house to the ground. It got to the point that we got evicted. I was there for so long. How many the years? Landlord, like, six years? I was there years. for seven years. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was so cheap. It was under $500, oh, all included, really? washer and dryer. Wow. Was that, like, a full house of girls? Full house of girls. That's there were five insane. bedrooms. Eventually. How old were you guys? Were at 20, 20, yeah. 500 bucks. <clears throat> A bunch of girls. That would have been a guy's fucking dream. Yeah. Right? And we had parties and we had fun parties. and fun parties. Yeah, they weren't bad parties. The ones that suck parties. Yeah. Oh, wait, that's Alliston parties. Yeah, those are Alliston parties. I dated a girl from Alliston when I was in high school, so I know all of them. Oh, wow. What does that even mean? Exactly. It probably means she can drink more than you. I'm a berry boy. Come on. I feel like, yeah. True. I'm 6'2". <laughs> I know, but I feel like, yeah, I feel like the times I went to a few Alliston parties, I didn't even, like, I didn't drink in high school, so I remember going to these parties what? and just watching people get annihilated <laughs> in a field, and, like, With they fashion. would wake up in the field. That's what you do, though. I know. When you're that ill. So yeah. are you, do you drink now? Yeah. You're not totally yeah, I, drink, I no. guess if you lived in a party house that were fun. Yeah, fun parties. <laughs> Pop and chips. Does that mean there was alcohol? Mm-hmm. We, ha- we bought some special mixed drinks. <laughs> special. We mixed some drinks. <laughs> so how did you end up uh, pursuing it then? Like what, what decided, sorry, what made you decide you could actually make a living, pay the rent, even oh though it's God, 500 bucks? This concerns bucks. me. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, so I ended up working as a hostess um, at this okay. restaurant in Yorkville. Fancy. And then uh, I just... I honestly thought, like, I was, I honestly thought I would just move to Toronto and I would sing once and someone would be like, you're a star. Yeah. Like, yeah. I, honestly, yeah. that's what that's I was like. a total Jewish accent. You're a star. You're a star. Yeah. I Did honestly you look like thought. like Harvey Weinstein, the guy in the dream? Fuck. No, man. <laughs> Jesus. No. Creepy old. Gion Dimeshi, I, like, appeared at one point to do that and I was like. Something feels off about you. You're bigger than the CBC. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Massive. Yeah. yeah. You know what? That yeah. is just creepy. I felt bad just right now. You, you know what's a kind of weird thing about if we can go off topic? This he was the first one, actually, to get exposed for that shit. No, lots of people have been. But since yeah, lots well, of he's the first one to go underneath the public eye with this. No. Lots of people well, who was before that? I don't know. I don't pay attention to it. And I'm not, not even Woody. Not, 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 even, not even Woody Allen got exposed. Yeah. Who? Yeah, I said two negative. But what's his what nuts? Who yeah. had to fly overseas there? What's his nuts? Oh, yeah. Who doesn't know what's his nuts? Yeah, um, what's his nuts? Yeah, I know you're talking about. The guy who raped a 13 year old girl. Yeah, yeah. What? The director. Yeah. yeah. What? Roman. Is it Roman? Oh, yeah. Roman Polanski. Thank you so Isn't he, much. He's in jail now. No, he's not. <laughs> Didn't he kill someone? No, I think Roman he's Plansky dead. He just raped a 13 year old just girl. Just raped. Like, anally, as well as what? the other way. Hold on. Then flew across the world to live in Europe and made movies over there. And Why? Apparently, a lot of the actors, big actresses and actresses, I want him to be able to come back into the country to celebrate his art. Oh my God! No, creepy. that sounds bizarre to me. Yeah, but you know, maybe I'm more square than I think I am. Well, it is pretty bizarre. That's super bizarre. But on a positive okay. note, you yeah, know, you didn't. Get I didn't do that. 13, <laughs> so we're good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> at least not. Yay. <laughs> yeah, at least not. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I said it, then you repeated it, I which did. is worse. I know, right? Who knows? I'm starting to blush over that uh. one. Um, <laughs> so, where did you get your first paying gig then? Just a guest on, like, a crappy rap album, doing backup vocals? Um, uh, did you get a They don't pay. <laughs> they don't pay doing that, no. This one asks you to do the music videos, too. Yeah. That's even worse. So, yeah, right? Which I actually did recently. Oh, no but it was way. fun. It was fun. For Orpheus? Was it Orpheus? No. But... His were fun too. When did I, was I in John's? Oh, yeah, I was in John's video. Yeah, you were in there. Yeah. What video? I was like in the background. I can't remember what it's called. What's it called? Well, I was in the uh, Lean In video. Yes. I was in the background. Is that the one with the girls doing the dance routine? No, it's like where they're. Uh, there, it's like a weird, like this cool girl, like, like walking through town and yeah. people being creepy. It's a lot of then, imagery going on in it. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Lots of imagery. Just, it was directed by Dylan as well. Oh, really? Yeah. That's how we, well, it's not how I met him, but he did that video. And then I was like, hey, Dylan, Dylan Mitro, he did, he did the video for Human Feel. Okay. Yeah. 
so he's my producer's fiance's best friend. And then he worked. Producer's fiance. Fiance's best friend, yeah. Oh, yes, yes. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, it is a lot. Do you have a pen? Yeah. Write it down. It's already on the back. Right that's right. Oh, so peaches. then with that, with that, that's how you connected. Well, what, yeah. are you signed? Are you independent right now? Um, I'm, so I'm working with an indie label, and it's actually my producer and um, his best friend who does all my graphics and websites and stuff. Um, and the three of us just work together. Which is pretty sweet. So, is there a big push on a daily basis for this? Like, what is your what's your daily plan? Like, what's what's your daily? Are you getting up in the morning and doing throat exercises, running through town, yelling in parks? What is your (laughs) yelling in parks? That's my favorite thing to do. That's the name of your new single. I like to do it actually around like four thirty a.m. That's you. (laughs) Yeah, and if you that's her. That's Bellwood's Trinity. Yeah. That's why you wear the same you hope that someone will recognize you. Exactly. They'll be like, it's her. <laughs> it's a little fake thing. Is. I get it. Yeah, exactly. Um, so, yeah, that's my favorite thing to do, actually. Um, and then, you know, you sleep until about one. That sounds like you're getting up early for a rock star. <laughs> Very early, actually. Usually at four bit before you first rehearse. Right, yeah. yeah. You roll out of bed. Oh, I'm so hungover. (laughs) Should have drank that wine cooler. (laughs) So, oh my God, so gross. Yeah. So many, like, yeah. I had so many flashbacks of, like, working with different musicians. (laughs) Same excuse. Yeah. Um, So do you find yourself drawn? Like, what kind of music are you drawn to, actually? Um, I I love, like, R&B and pop. I also, I really like folk, too. Like, I kind of, like... I like the blended modern? genres. Like, I like, um, you know, have you guys heard of Leanne Le Havas? Like, it's sort of like she's a bit jazz and R&B. And, mm-hmm. um, and I've listened to a lot of Daniel Caesar lately. And He's making it Caesar, big. Yeah. Got a pretty big billboard up on Spadina. Right, is yeah. Is he a Toronto boy? Yeah. Is he a Toronto boy? He is, yeah. What's he wearing? Roots clothing? I think Stone Island. <laughs> oh, <laughs> what's that? <laughs> or, or, or OVO oh. with a pair of NMDs. Oh, is, he, is he part of the OVO crew? Yeah, I don't think so. NMDs. I, I hope not. Maybe not. Oh, there's a lot of billboards in be. Toronto with people, sorry, local artists yeah. that are wearing Roots clothing. Totally. Just that's so super cool. Oh, really? Yeah? That's a thing? Yeah. yeah. Good okay, to see you in touch. Oh, well, I don't pay attention to Roots clothing. Not much. Nope. You don't like cozy sweaters? <laughs> I do. He, hug, he hugs himself. <laughs> I do. That's what it is. <laughs> if there's yeah. a mirror, he's yeah. hugging. That's it. Oh, well, look at her little feet. She's a miniature poodle. She's got to have the paws like that. Yeah, she's just stealing the show, right? Oh, my God. So, and long and short, <laughs> do you like talking about your music? I do. I love it. But I, I also feel like it's weird. It's hard for me to categorize it because I just sort of, like, do what what comes out of me and like do it I just do what feels natural so, are you so it's a weird to like 7 music person what do you mean by 24/7? that 24 7 like are you constantly walking around with your earbuds in listening to music oh no singing writing stuff do you have a notepad that you jot lyrics down to songs you know some people get pretty entrenched in yeah. whatever their ambitions are you know mm-hmm. what I mean it's not a far off thought either no. Like, are you using the mic on your iPhone? Because I saw you have an iPhone. I do have an iPhone. To record some ideas in the middle of yes, the night. Yes, totally. I do that a lot. Little Joe Rogan style? There you mm-hmm. go. Yeah, I do that a lot. Or, like, walking down the street. I always feel creepy, though, when I have to do it down the street. Because I'm like, no, if I just Duck remember it, then it's meant to be. Like, I, I've done that before, too. And it, sometimes, it usually works. If I'm, like, thinking of something, okay, if I remember this, then it's supposed to turn into a song. Yeah. And it works. But then sometimes I forget, and I'm like, damn it, why didn't I record it? So the times I've recorded it, I feel like a super creep, because I'm walking down the street, well, singing, like, ah, 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 <laughs> on my phone. But I live in Parkdale, so I mean, oh, it you're, wouldn't you're look that normal. creepy. You're, you're actually quite normal. Yeah. Actually, you'd be very normal. You're super very normal. normal. Yeah. If anything, why is she singing louder? Yeah. Does yeah. she get new meds that far? <laughs> is she on her meds right now? She's so settled. <laughs> Jeez. I don't like how this is. Something feels off. She's got to go further west of Brock. Yeah, yeah, I do. So what's your thoughts on the industry itself, the music industry? Uh, I think it's pretty cool that it's like it's just so much more open now because yeah. of social media. So that's pretty cool. Um, but then it's also, it's it can be harder to be seen and heard because there's so much more music out there. Mm-hmm. 
But if you stand but, out, you're that much better, right? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So it was weird because, like, coming from Alliston and feeling just like... North of Barry. Yeah, just north of Barry. No, it's Highway south, to nine. South of Barry. Oh, yeah, it is. Uh, wait, is it southeast? I don't know. It's like a two-tucker. Whatever, yeah. Um... No, I also didn't. no, I didn't lose my train of thought. Um, yeah, kind of feeling like a big fish in a little pond, and then coming to Toronto and realizing that I actually had no idea what I was doing. Which is awesome. It's so awesome, yeah. but it was really scary. And then, and then everything with the like social media got introduced, and that changed everything too. That was a really hard thing for me to wrap my head around. Actually, social media, like I could do the open mics, and I could I could play. All the time, like if I needed to go out and play all the time, I would. I was You're doing that, on. but then as soon as someone was like, "Oh, well, like, why don't you sing on on this or like go on Instagram and sing?" and I was like, "What are you talking about? That is so weird." <laughs> I just Self promotion side, yeah, yeah like, I kind of get you it. realized what it is. Yeah, so that was really hard for me. So I feel like I kind of fell behind there for a little while. So when did you jump on that? Uh, I actually, I think I've been on Instagram for three years. Okay. Now, what about Facebook? Facebook, I didn't get until I was, I think I got it when I was 19 or 20. Oh, so you weren't on it in high school. No, because it didn't come out until... Oh, she just revealed her age. Right? <laughs> I'm 23. And, 23. <laughs> and oh, I already said that. <laughs> um, yeah, it didn't come out, because when it first came out, you could only get it if you were in university. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And then it was college, and then everyone else could get it. But you were kind of were in university. Kind of. I was like in right. fake university. Yeah. People at that university thought uh, that I went to the university. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> you were just yeah. hanging out. I, did the no, same, I was just hanging out. I did People the same actually were like, where did you, like, when did you graduate? Yeah. I, did the same I didn't. Uh, didn't. I didn't take practically shit. practically lived there for a month. I know. Yeah. It's like, it you're in home. debt, suckers. <laughs> <laughs> I was at Ryerson or yeah. something like that. He's just like, dude, where's your food card? <laughs> are you serious? Yeah. I grabbed uh, the food card, went and ate all day. Got there. Nice. So you're doing that all the time? Went and talked to girls all day long. It was so difficult. Why not? It was so difficult. <laughs> it was so difficult. Oh, I just read a book. <laughs> and then you I guys read those? <laughs> Did you what read it? <laughs> have you seen this fucking thing? Look at the size of it. Yeah. I have one too. For 100 bucks a pop. <laughs> so I'm taking you it out of me. When you got involved in the local scene, how did you weasel your way in? Uh, so, what did I do? Let's see. I think what first happened was that um, at my friend's university, they did like a little fundraiser thing and they had some people perform. So at she UFT. got me into that at U of T. Yeah, yeah. So she got me into that and I performed there. And then I think it was just like a few other people. And, and it was also through, um, a, a girl I was friends with for a little bit who knew a bunch of local bands. Okay. And so we would go to their shows and stuff. And then when I would talk to them and say that I was a musician, they would kind of point me in a direction of open mics and everything. So I did the supermarket open mic yeah. and I did, um, Which is a good three crowd times. Yeah. Supermarket's great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's been running for so long and it's still so successful. And then, yeah, through the supermarket, mostly through the supermarket, that's how I got other shows and doing actual shows. Did you ever jump up on stage for hip hop karaoke? No. Yeah, What's that? Oh, it's on College Street. They used to do it at Revival. They, they still do it. Oh, that's so cool. I thought they were backing down on that. No, they're still HHK. doing it. There was, like a, there was a female <coughs> champion for like a very long time. Blonde haired, okay? blue eyed girl that could rap, and she was winning. She was destroying everybody <laughs> for like. At least two years. Wow. Yeah. For two years. For two years. <laughs> wow. You would never think like she's like a Bay Street chick too. Oh, crazy. Yeah. Why are you yeah. so discriminant? Like, it doesn't matter where I she's don't from. Don't give a fuck, she's got bro. Money or her, her eyes I'm just green. saying you can you can associate what I'm saying because people can't see us talking right Basically, now, right? What you're saying it's because she's white. Why don't you say well, that? She's if, white. Well, she's white, and it's ironic that a white person in Toronto will be winning for two years straight a hip hop competition. Oh, I hate when you're so racist. <laughs> This is be really weird being called a racist. <laughs> this is so weird. You're going to trigger me. Yeah. You're really triggered. Weird. We're all triggered. Oh my God, we're triggered. <laughs> we're uh, triggered. Yeah, I remember hearing about her actually. Yep. But no, because I know there was a few girls that had, had made their way through that. Oh, so they, had, they got a turnout of like, I don't know, eight, nine hundred people. That's yeah. crazy. Per event. Yep. And so I've been a couple girls actually figured it out and they would do like an R&B instead of doing like a rap song. Yeah. Like an R&B, like a Faith Evans or something like that. That's so cool. There used to be, I'm having flashbacks with supermarket days, but I remember 
there used to be um, a lot of people who were uh, working with like a few bigger producers here and there, and they would come to the supermarket and try out their songs and whatnot. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. And then um, there was these kids, and they were in a group, but there was like there was like ten of them, and they always had <laughs> like groups within the ten of them, yeah. and they would sign up like four times under different names. And I remember, do you remember the guy Johnny? He used to do the sound there. No. He was like, did. yeah, he was a nice guy if he liked you, but if he didn't like you, he was like super rude. And he would always cut them off and kick them off stage. <laughs> As you should, He'd be like, you yeah. guys were already up. Get off. Yeah. But yeah, I remember these kids used to do that and do all these like really bad R&B songs. And did they, have you seen them since? No. Really? No. I don't remember what they look like too. I probably would if I saw them. Maybe have you checked all the Roots pictures? Around I there? should, right? Man, I know. Maybe I'm like, oh, I should have made friends with them. No, I don't think they're on the Roots pictures. I want a cozy sweater. <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs> it's getting cold it's out. So cold. It's not really. And you're not even high. It's the crazy thing about it. <laughs> but so, if you're giving giving advice to a young woman or a young guy, yeah. that's kind of like, you know what? How do I kind of get from Kitchener? Mm -hmm. or uh, London, Ontario, or Tweed. You know Tweed, I mean? yeah. Yeah, Tweed. I knew some people from Tweed. That's what I Tweed. Tweed's awesome. I've heard of Tweed. Tweed's amazing. We just had what's uh, it's Bruce a cute Linden name. Bruce Linden, Tweed yeah. Canopy. They're, cool. They're doing the giant uh, weed growing. My, fr my friend my just had picture. a, I, is like talking to them about doing VR stuff. That's so yeah. weird because he just mentioned it to me today. Yeah, he's and doing I was like, rounds. I don't know what that is. He's in he would be on, yeah. on Tuesday? Yeah, on Tuesday. He's doing the yeah, rounds, Tuesday. So. Yeah. Cool. It's exciting. He's for making you. moves. So yeah. if you're from Tweed and you're not involved in the pot industry. Yeah, and you're involved in the music industry. <laughs> yes, and you want to kind of make a break like you did. Yeah. Providing they have substance like you do. You have a beautiful voice. Thank you. Very powerful. Thanks. For such a smiley face. Am I not supposed to be smiling? No, I'm just saying for such a smiley <laughs> face, it's like a very powerful. Thank you. How tall are you? I'm 5'6". Okay, so you're not short. No. So that makes sense I... then. You'd be more dramatic if you were like 5'2". Yeah, I feel like that happens a lot. Can you shrink Everyone's though? No. <laughs> I don't really want to. <laughs> I'm like, no, as if it was possible, it's but I'm choosing like, not to. Know. No, I just don't want to. I'm crushing you. Remember the... <laughs> oh, I remember that. I'm <laughs> crushing you. I'm crushing you. Now you're 5'2". Yeah. So, um, yeah, like, is there any advice you can give them along the way? Because then the reason why I'm asking is so if, like, people aren't familiar with you, they're obviously mm -hmm. going to check check out what they can. They'll realize you're very talented. Thanks. Um, I still like the acoustic song better. That's okay. But I have electronic music industry background, so I'm biased right away. Um, That's totally fine. <laughs> you're allowed to. I'm allowed to have You're entitled opinion. to your opinion. Am I triggering you? What's what? I'm I'm not triggering you. I guarantee I can trigger you. You need, a, you need to say <laughs> you're trying. Anyway. The goal is to trigger place. each other. <laughs> That word snowflake will come out sooner or later. Crush. I melt you, snowflake. I melt you. I am a snowflake. No, you're too old to be a snowflake. How old are you yeah. now? You can never be too old to be a snowflake. No, it's There's the, some snowflakes. It's total millennial thing. That it's old. Like, but millennial is like. That older I think white guy with the glasses. What, 25 on here to 35 or something? Yeah, yeah. that's true. Yes, no, it is. No, 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 what is it? It is, is right? Uh, and my friend did a you my know, friends 35, 30, 35 is the end of the No, it's not. It's a start, sorry. What is a millennial then? What age? Millennial is uh, 28 and under. I just decided. Fucking no. No. I, my There's friend, another name yeah, for 20. There's actually it's another Google. name for those. The next one's coming yeah. up after millennials. It's something so else. Millennials like the 35. Millennials 35 are and under. now then. Yeah. yeah. 35 and under. Isn't that like family? See, that's the thing too. I used to kind of bash millennials here and there when no, I was no, talking to my friends. Oh, and then my do. friend was like, we're millennials. I'm yeah. doing a presentation on it. And I was like, what? Hands down. So you guys are bringing facts into the conversation now. Yeah. Elizabeth, fact check. Fact check. Oh, just just back back <laughs> she'll so always right. have my back. Just yeah. So you know. yeah. Until it's bedtime, then she'll snuggle the hell out of whoever's there but me. Yeah. Oh, you can't find it? I know. It's kind of interesting how everybody else in the room. 29 years old. Oh, what? what was no, that? No, no, hold no. on. So, hold no. on. Hold on. No. No. Back no up, fact check. Hold on. Shit. Elizabeth, what did you just say? A millennial is somebody who is between the ages of 18 and 29 years old. So, someone between the age of 18 and 29. So that's basically one year off of what I said, but I'm crazy, and I don't know what I'm talking I about. Well, I heard it was 35, too. There's two okay, we never said you 35. were crazy, that like you didn't know what you were talking about. <laughs> just I'm not for... crazy. No, Brian Callen over here, just making up facts as you go along. No, no, we both heard it, right? Right? 35, so then, yeah. yeah, high five right there. No, high five. Can you hear that? Retract that. That's 
Bullshit high five. There's two, there's two, two people against two, so it just neutralizes itself. Neutral. Well, five? I think... So what are 35s that were X, they're X, yeah, X generation? They're on the same page. X, Y well, high five. X. That was a proper high five. Everyone heard she, it. She, she doesn't, she's a mute. She doesn't high five was gentle. See? I North feel North. nervous when I high five people because I mess okay, it up a lot. I did, I did it the other day. Do I look at the elbow? How do you yeah. know that? It's the I've been told brother? that, but I still don't. Now you just date a lot of big guys. Because <laughs> only big guys high five. <laughs> no, it's a, a sport thing. No, bro. It's a sport it's thing. A sport bro. thing. Bro. Bro. Is that how you do it? Bro, you high five, bro. Elbow? Yeah, watch the elbow. I know, but it's I still get... every I, time. There's too many things to look at. I still get distracted. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot to think about for There's a lot going uh, on. I thought we were talking about music. Panicking. We were supposed yeah, we to. Were. Yeah. Sorry, I will just get past the fact that you guys were wrong and Elizabeth and I were correct. <sighs> so then where do we no, go from here with this uh, right millennial oh, yeah, thing? Oh yeah, I'm supposed to give advice. Uh, yes. Well, apparently yeah. you can't. You don't even know what a millennial is, so how can you give right? advice to one? So what would you know how happening. what information would you give to the millennials? The millennials. Are you, are you the millennial? only millennials. <laughs> millennials. Millennials. <laughs> millennials. Millennials. <laughs> millennials. Uh, the millennials from Tweed, just from Tweed. Yes, of course. Yeah. No one, no one from Cookstown, though. No. The cooks <laughs> they're hopeless. Well, There's no, their McDonald's got taken away from them. I know, that's if a McDonald's bad. is Cookstown taken is. away from you. Have you ever heard of McDonald's closing down ever? Never. Um, and that was like the most popular McDonald's. They had one McDonald's. on the highway and they still lost it. Cookstown. And it was huge. Okay, Cookstown Auto can stay, was, but that's it. It was pretty magical. Like, I'm not like a McDonald's fan. Did you grow up working there? No, but oh, I was did date a guy who worked there. You dated a guy from McDonald's? Of course I did. I lived in wow. Alliston. That's Slim Pickens. <laughs> Apparently. I know. I never, I never like chose right. minute drive. I, I know, I should have. Further north. I, we did go to the Queens. We used to go to the Queens and the Rocks and stuff. Under but you'd still well. run into people who were from Alliston. It's because most people moved to Barry from Alliston. Yeah, they're like, we're moving to the city. We're going to Barry. Well, that's what I was, <laughs> that was one of the questions I had. Was like, so how did you end up in the big city? I thought you were going to go. Well, I moved to Barry first, and I was like, I knew it. You skipped Barry, no, and then I was going to say I'm from Barry. I flew past it. Good for you. You went the other way. Yeah, I did. My mom worked in Barry. She worked at Bell Canada. It was such a big place too. Eh? It's does she know Maureen? <laughs> Probably. And Teresa. Teresa and Marie and Teresa. Yeah, Marie We're friends and with my grandmother and they all worked there. Oh, no way. No. Oh. <laughs> Marie and Fine. Teresa. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds definitely like ladies gonna, that would work at Bell. Definitely going to help so you out. So what's your favorite place to perform live at in Toronto? I, didn't, I still didn't even answer the other question. I know. We gotta I think it's, you got to keep moving. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, my Stugats. favorite place to perform at in Toronto. Hold on. You can write in. Just do a right Instagram in. live. Oh. You should be. Question number 13. I didn't get a chance to answer. Yeah, I didn't answer this, but. It's Chris and Tina. Yeah. Uh, 17B. <laughs> 36. I was wrong. Steve's right. Again. 35. 35. 35. 35. 34. Question 34. Yeah, we're still fighting about we're millennials. Fucking millennials. All um, over. Favorite venue to play in? Uh, I would have to say the Mod Club. I've only played there a couple times, but it's super cool. It just actually makes you feel like a star. When you, it's, it's a great sound. Yeah, you know? yeah, feel it like is. a star when it you're is. there. The sound is good. Yeah. Um, what was your, what's your goal? Like your... The spot you've always wanted to play at. Spot, like In anywhere. Toronto, sorry. Oh, in Toronto. In Toronto. Or it could be north of Toronto. Perhaps um, Austin Gymnasium at Bainting. <laughs> Honestly, yeah, right. Oh, my God. This is what you could be, kids. <laughs> you do the I can see you could do the funeral Now, now with a fucking bottle of Jack right. Daniels in your hand because you didn't make it. Yeah, yeah. Flip-flops, Isn't shorts. There's a few movies about that. Yeah, for sure. Pretty sure. Hot girl comes back to town, no husband. Everyone thought she was making it. Cats. Yeah, right? She gets cats, dropped cats off in an yeah. Uber, but a <laughs> shitty Prius. A sh- <laughs> That's amazing. Oh, yeah, everybody in town amazing. visualizing with like her hair pulled back, a scarf, Jackie O glasses, yeah. driving around in a yeah. Porsche with the, the top yeah. down, Not so much. and three dogs hanging at the back with ears flopping. She's wearing she Oakleys. Up and, Oakleys. <laughs> she's got a frog. Rip up on. Oakleys. Yeah, totally. Half, she's Oakleys. Got from Chinatown. Half her yeah. weaves hanging right. in. <laughs> the cities know what they say. <laughs> the chair maps. It gets out. you. <laughs> It gets you and it I'm swallows doing, you. I'm doing a gig oh. at the local Rick's Pub. The Rick's Rick's, Rick's. Pub. Rick's. I'm Rick's. opening for Sarah from Banting. <laughs> <laughs> I know Sarah's killing it, but I'm going to try and work my way. <laughs> yeah, right. So I get a 10 the venue you've, uh, your end goal in Toronto, like I said. My from, end goal. Uh, you could say Sky Dome or Yeah, something. I was actually like, uh, yeah. Because it doesn't exist anymore, just so you know. Oh, well, yeah, what is it now? It's Scotia, because of the Scotia, Scotia Plaza. Scotia. Okay, Scotia's so the no, Scotia Plaza. Yeah. Scotia, is it yeah. Scotia or Scotia Plaza? It'll always be the Skydome to me. Sky it's a Skydome. <laughs> yeah, Elizabeth has to be here to fact, check facts. 
Uh, yeah, totally. I would like, of course. That'd it be sounds amazing. horrible in there. So, what do you think more? Is the sound? I haven't been there a long time. Very bad sounding in there. ACC's, okay, let's do ACC. ACC's let's better. do ACC. But okay. if you're doing the Sky Dome, you don't have to sound good. You just you're there for a reason. Right? He's like just there to look at you. I'm like, supposed you to be here. You can actually be a Rihanna and just like dance around all concert and do shit. I'm want. totally into that. Yeah, a clothes shop. We just bring a pair of scissors and go in and just like oh, cut just the legs off skimpier everything. Skimpier? I like the way this is going. <laughs> body suits and boots. Boots and body suits. I body suits. think smells so body good. Suits, yeah. It is good. I have vape pen. Um, <laughs> are there any guys that you work with? That are, have you thought of working with a band? Or have you been in a band? Are you band. just a solo artist? Have you been kicked out of any bands? Not kicked out. I've kicked many people out of bands, band? actually. What I've kicked out a lot of bands. Have you? Uh, I've, yeah, I've done a lot of, you know, band remodeling over the years. Uh, no, but I have, I've had bands. I've done solo. I've had a couple different bands. Uh, I had one band for a little while that was actually, like, when I worked at this pub, which was this called guy, the Duke of York. Okay, so people in Toronto generally wouldn't know where that is. Yeah, so I used to work there, mm -hmm. and um, someone I worked with was dating a guy who was a musician, and um, he was like, "Hey, like I heard your music. I'd love to like play bass with you. Oh, I know this guy. He plays guitar. Oh, I got a drum. Like, and Sweet. it just developed from there. We had this band." And then... Um, what was it called? He, it, well, it was just... It was still me. It was still Kendall Thompson. He was kind of like, oh, we should have a band name. So we were kind of trying to think about like, it. like, yeah, totally. Kendall Thompson. And the whatever. <laughs> well, yeah, I know, right? Yeah, Kend it's Kendall Thompson. We have yeah. the name. Kendall okay. Thompson <laughs> and the others? Yeah. Because <laughs> KendallThompson.com was taken already. So, and the others were good. Yeah, exactly. So, you can just... Oh, sorry. The, Kendall the Thompson others only fit on there. the stickers. <laughs> <laughs> and the t-shirts. cut them off. I don't know what happened. <laughs> And the coasters. You know what? Never wore anything from China. <laughs> <laughs> Coaster. Like, where did coasters come from? Uh, yeah. And then he actually started... It was so bizarre. He started this guitar-making business, took money from everyone, and promised all these people guitars, and then disappeared. Like so that's how that band broke up. <laughs> the cops chasing you around <laughs> He now. just disappeared. He disappeared. So Kendall Thompson and the others broke up. Broke up. And then you formed what new band? Another new band. What pub were you working at? It was the same pub. Okay. But again, like someone else's boyfriend who used to be in this other band that was pretty successful. Called? Um, Sterling. Okay. And they, I think they toured Europe a lot and stuff. And then, have. so they, yeah, they, <laughs> the singer them. left. Yeah, the singer <laughs> left. And they was like still kind of had a band. And they were looking for us. They were looking to replace a singer. And I was like, "Oh, I'll do a, like a side project." Like this yeah. is before I was working with anyone. Kendall else. Thompson and the side project. And the side project. <laughs> and then it ended up just again being me. But it was kind of more of a rock band. I was like in a rock band basically. Well, that's what I was going to ask you as well. Is like, what kind of music were you were you singing with? Rock, yeah, rock, it kind of became metal. like a little like Tina Turner ish, like okay. rock, like. So R and B rock. Like yeah, like a like a soul rock, yeah. more rock than anything. And then that's when I started working with my producer, and then that's when the band sort of like melted stopped away. making it melted away. Yeah, and the band melted away. What were your uh, three big songs that you used to play when you were with uh, Kendall Thompson and the others? And the others. Um, Sorry, I don't know how they got cut right? off the sticker. Whoever. <laughs> Kendall Thompson, whoever. Did else. you just keep using the same stickers and the same excuse? I don't know I how have. I got cut off the stickers. I don't, I don't know how this happened. I gotta stop ordering from this company. <laughs> Yeah. I couldn't understand anything. Calls <laughs> customer service. Um, so you met up with the producer, which yeah. is <laughs> Mike Schlosser. And that's his real last name? That is his real last okay, name. Okay, cool. Yeah. And so Mike actually used to play uh with this guy keyboard Curtis Santiago. In the no. no. <laughs> there was no keyboard, surprisingly okay. enough. Otherwise he'd totally be in there. Yeah. Uh sorry. yeah. Sorry, Mike. That's okay. <laughs> yeah, he played uh he played with this guy Curtis Santiago. And we played a lot of shows together when, because they kind of moved from Calgary the same time I moved from Allison, and we were both in Toronto around the same time. We're okay. like, hey, we're both new, let's play shows. Um, and then Mike and I kind of kept running into each other on the street years later. And I told him what I was doing, and then he and I wrote a song together, and it was sort of history. Like, we made this song, and then some people liked it, and I so played it, was it with called the band. This song? No, the song was called Cryin'. C R Y I N. Uh, just like the Platinum Blonde song? 
crying uh-huh. over you. No, that's a different song. No, you're right. It's crying. Still, but right to say. You're right. It sounds a lot like your song, actually. You. Did you record oh, that? No. Yeah. Did you put it out on a mixtape? Uh, I think we just put it out. We put it on SoundCloud? YouTube and okay. SoundCloud. And is it under your name or what name is yeah. it? Yeah, it was under my name. Okay. Yeah, so that was like the first song that he and I did together. And how was the response? Did you, you got really it good. out there, right? Yeah, we got it out there. Did you press indie single, seven inches, or no CD, mini CDs? No, that would have been cool though. We had like someone who was like, "Oh, I would love to like invest in this." But oh, cool! I didn't. It didn't so how work did out. There's but... that. There's that Harvey Weinstein guy. Yeah, right. Still coming <laughs> hey. All you gotta do is just watch the towel get off. Yeah, um, yeah where'd my <laughs> towel go? Where's do you want to be a star? How come I'm in a towel? <laughs> just your toes, please. <laughs> So, how did you get the word out? Uh, SoundCloud, YouTube. Yeah, YouTube, yeah. and then I would just like I I think I just promoted it on my Facebook and and all that. Okay, junk. so you're you're humming and on and Facebook. Instagram. I had Instagram. You just the time. popped up with Instagram. Okay. Yeah. So how did you manage to? Well, the whole point, of kind of what I've been waiting to get to, yeah. is that you've got a, a good following uh, through Instagram, right? Yeah, yeah, I've got a decent following. It's been good. And so People it's kind like of a modern pictures. approach to things, right? Yeah. So it's kind of like this is. This is how things are done now. Versus it's crazy. Everything's a 360 deal anyways. Yeah. So you kind of got to have your own stuff, right? Oh, for sure. So are you monetizing anything off of uh, your social media? Um, so I ha- like, I I'm trying to do that. that. Yeah, I didn't actually. But that's what What's we've business, been thinking right? about. Yeah. All things aside, you know, yeah, totally. the industry, how it is now, which I'm pretty familiar with. Yeah. 360, the artist is getting effed yeah. more than they were getting before. And everybody yeah. knows how effed that was. Everything's Why am I saying aft? aft? Everything's aft. aft. I know. Aft Fox. in the a hole. <laughs> <laughs> Why would I say aft in the asshole? <laughs> I don't know. No, I, I, I said it. <laughs> so you I, just repeated it. It's kind of like another way. It's it's just like shifting or changing your look on things, right? Mm-hmm. So how can you monetize in, yeah. in what you're doing? Because the reality is you got to pay your bills. Exactly. Uh, the more time you spend recording music and doing what your passion is, yeah. the better you're going to get. Right. Mm-hmm. So the less time you have to physically go out and bartender whatever yeah. you're doing right totally and fiend off all the drunk guys yeah then the more success you're gonna have clearly exactly. right so how does that happen exactly yeah so what's your next step is kind of what i'm getting towards yeah so the next step i have a showcase in november uh november 16th at the painted lady Nice. And yeah. um, the painted lady on, I think on Ossington. You gotta yeah. remember it not everybody knows where everything oh, is oh right that's true you know that bar by the corner oh i, I know, know what you're talking yeah about. that's true Painted Lady on Painted, Ossington, yes, which is Lady a pretty, on Ossington. and after you hear her play, you can always roam down the street. There's several great bars to go totally. to Totally. Well. It's a very hip. Active street. Ooh. It's hip and active. Ha- active hip. Active hip. My yeah. Hip has been acting up. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> With this weather. <laughs> well, that's um, true. I never thought about the weather. Yeah, point. it could be. It gets in your bones. Bones. <laughs> John Jones. <laughs> <laughs> so at this point, Holy shit, what's your next gig yeah. after that? I'm you roll so well, that's the thing. That's the <laughs> <laughs> um, th- sh- that's the showcase, and then um, there will be some more in 2018. But like, this is something that I've been preparing for 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 a while. So it's and a big I, deal. Then it's a big deal, and hoping that November 16th. Yeah. At the Painted Lady, Lady on Ossington, and it's a showcase. Yeah. Of who? Of me. What? Kendall the whole Thompson. night? Well, it's a Are you going to sh- do that acoustic song too? I'm going to do one acoustic song. I want to hear that acoustic song. Will you play that acoustic yeah, song? Yeah, well, I'm not going to play that one, but I'm going to play What's it one. called? This one's I'm for gonna Steve. I'm going to play one called It's Time. For Steve I mean, Mealing and Peaches. Steve. Steve and Peaches. <laughs> no, fuck Steve. Peaches, actually. <laughs> that happens. My girl, Peaches. Yeah. Yeah, my sister. My boo. <laughs> <laughs> um, so the whole night's yours then? Uh, yeah, I have Sarah Burton opening for me. Okay. And then. Um, and then I'm on. Uh, show starts at seven thirty. Whoa, that's late. I'll probably be on yeah. at eight, right? <laughs> so from eight until midnight, eight. you'll play. No, I'm on like eight until nine. Okay, so yeah. if you want to check out the show, yeah. it it's not going to keep you up all night exactly. if you have to work the next day. Painted no. lady, seven thirty. Whip November. by, November. whip by, super yeah, point. Grab a slice on the way there. Yeah, yeah. And then we'll meet you afterwards at Bar Fancy. Yeah, they could do that. Oh. Yeah, that's what we have. Uh, anything else you want to talk about? Because um, we could do more of the same, or we could 
get yeah. another new point across. Do you want to play a game? Elizabeth? Sure, yeah, let's play a game. How will we make it out? How, um, yeah, are we okay. good for time? You're not going to go 10 minutes. Yeah. Oh, no. Okay. We've had that You're before. Good. We've had that before. Oh, really? Like, sure fucking came right on the podcast and like, 10 more minutes. Done. Who was the comedian? Uh, Rachel Feinstein. Yeah, we couldn't, even, we couldn't even use it. I refused Very to put it out yeah. because yeah. she kept coming on the line and saying, Chad, 10 more minutes. And it's just like, what and it's on the f- phone too. Yeah, it's like, what, what the fuck are you, are you doing? doing? You know what you're doing right now? This is a hundreds of dollars worth of <laughs> production time that you're fucking wasting wow. here. Yeah. Wow. So that's the inside yeah. joke that we just put out. Oh. oh. No, I provide the facts. So. Yes, you are the fact checker, sir. Yeah. I'm not happy you're late. She's we needed. Be here <laughs> apparently. She's needed. If she hangs out with you, apparently she does. <laughs> <laughs> you think millennials are 35. I know. I just lie all the time. I was like, that's a lie. <laughs> so uh, we really didn't know. Yeah. 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 Pinch her leg. Yeah. Oh, nice. Pinch it. Pe- yeah. Peaches. Pinch. Where are you at? Peaches, Peaches is pinching. You want to play a game? Yeah, let's play a game. It's called Blue Eyed Soul. Okay. This is a, are you, are you, are you, are you, it sounds are you, like a fake game. It's, it's totally true. So you got a name. Do you know, are you familiar with Blue Eyed Soul artists? Oh my god, you, no, not, I feel like I'm going to fail. Can we play a different game? I feel like I'm going to be bad at this. If you're not, we can... Uh, we can oh, you got to play that game. We can, go, to, we we can go toe to toe. Okay. I'm going to go first. So how okay. about you explain the game first? Yeah, so, the, so, the game is, so the game is, you're in on this too. All right? Is so you one person, you have three first. seconds to go and name a blue-eyed soul artist. Boom, Steve. And I'm going to go first. Oh, Kendall Thompson. Oh, that's funny. What a sweetheart. Nice. You have three seconds, Steve. For what? Blue White Soul. Oh, I quit. All right, yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Amy Winehouse. Oh, does she have blue eyes? <laughs> no. Adele. Oh, Do these nice. people have to have blue eyes? No, it's just Blue White Soul. It's it. Oh, it's just a genre. Yeah. I want to. Have to have I wanna, okay, I'm gonna. I'm gonna do. Okay, I'll, so I'll say Justin Timberlake, but I feel like I'm also. I'm gonna go rogue too, but I need. A, I gotta think. George Michael. Ooh. Ooh. I'm liking that George Michael play card. That's like a yeah. trump. It's in the card game. I have another trump. I got another trump. I got that trump. Oh, I feel like I'm Even not good at thinking on the spot. I just discovered that. <laughs> the pressure's on. You have three seconds. This is a, oh, I mean, not yeah, Jeopardy. I've wasted them already. Is Peachy staring you down? Too much stress? It's just her so little cut. paws. <laughs> it looks like she has little elastic bands around her feet. <laughs> <laughs> just so you know, you still have to go. Oh, okay. <laughs> Stevie Nicks. Ooh, nice. Michael, Mc, Michael McDonald. That's I don't know who one. Michael McDonald is. Do, 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 do. The Doobie Brothers. Can I say Hall and Oates? Yes. Fuck yeah. Okay, cool. That was the trump card right there, actually. That's Thanks. a good one. Uh, I'm going to say Eminem. Oh, Just so you know, I still don't know the rules. Blue I white don't soul know either. I, don't, I think <laughs> we're just naming blue. white people who sing. <laughs> blue whites, they all blue white soul. There's a pattern going on here. They're not Axl Rose, they're all blue eyed souls. So, so if you were, if you were to see their face, you would not know that they're, that they're, that they're, they're white. Yeah. Well, what difference is Okay. Because I didn't make the label. I don't understand. What it's just what it is. Uh, seems like a weird exercise to me. I don't know about you, other white people in the room. It seems a bit racist. <laughs> is this racist? I'm <laughs> giving you credit. <laughs> totally giving you credit. Oh, now we need credit. No, no, no. no, of course you do. Credit. I'm not fucking backing off this shit. Oh. <laughs> Uh, Chuck Berry started rock and roll. I have no idea. And you guys fucking stole it from us. Who's yeah. we? Do you have a gang? <laughs> you, you and your fucking clan members. <laughs> have a clan? <laughs> All right, race wars begin. No, never. <laughs> it's fun. Hey, Kendall. It was yeah. a pleasure having you on the City Podcast. It just Thank you. You know what? Uh, we have to end I'm it now. Racist. I'm not a racist. I'm not a racist. get some fried chicken after this? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, was that? Well, wait. What? I actually what? want to get fried chicken. Why is it racist about you? What? 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 I didn't say anything about you. You were like, oh, my God. Like, if you brought the watermelon top in there, that would be a different story. What's that? Is that the thing you keep drawing? You have to plug yourself in here with your social media. Right? And yeah, your, I do. And your website. <laughs> and again, when you're performing and yes, everything else. Yes, all the proper things. Okay. You ready to social start? Social media. Go. Instagram. Oh, hold on, hold on. Instagram. <laughs> Instagram. Instagram. The gram. The right? grammar. The gram. It's yeah. It's, yeah it's the ex- IG. The IG. Uh, yeah, the yeah, IG. Yeah. yeah. What's, what's your IG? Yeah, right? IG. It's yeah. IG fact checker. Right? I know, right? IG. How do IG. we follow you on IG? You can follow me on IG if you search XO Kendall Thompson. XO Kendall with one L. 
Are you um, also with a P? Do you have that? <laughs> do you have that blue check mark? Not Are yet. You I'm working on it. Let's let's. We'll put it away. Help me. I know. So um, I actually, so I did some you googling. Get paid too, eh? I did googling <laughs> in uh, regards uh, to the blue uh, check mark on the mark. interweb. In regards to the blue check mark. Okay. Oh, that means certified. Just so you know. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Totally. I'm being certified. Um, Crazy, but know. they apparently, you can literally just wake up one day and have your account certified. I thought that there was like a process to it. Like I knew oh, that really? they picked you. I, I knew that they chose you, I but I thought you had to fill something you out. Want to apply for it, Yeah, but you can't. They just, you just wake up one day and it's You're there. certified. But it's when all, it's basically when all of your medias make sense that You're cohesive. you would be, yeah. That's a big right. word I know. So I feel like mine, mine is cohesive right now. Is it though? Because I don't yeah. see any blue check marks. No, but it's not. not yet. There's no blue check marks. <clears throat> Oh right! Oh, yeah, he's right. Still, yeah, he's certified. <gasps> Kendall Thompson. Should we cyber bully him right now? Wait, care? do you think he has Instagram? He totally does. But I bet you doesn't have XO XO on his. No, just saying. Uh, so uh, so yeah, Twitter, Twitter is just at Kendall Thompson, and then it's KendallThompson.ca because you're Canadian. Because I'm sense. Canadian. And, and the other Kendall took the dot com. No. Someone actually just like is holding it hostage. Chinese. That means you're a star. Just yeah, so right. Mm-hmm. Pretty so much. yeah, basically, I should have the blue check mark. Um, <laughs> and yeah, show is November sixteenth at the Painted Lady on Ossington. And you're having someone open for you by the name. Yeah, of... Sarah Burton. Ooh, Ooh, sweet. Now is she a rock artist? Um, she mostly does acoustic. That's exciting. Will like, she play guitar for you? She should, right? That'd be awesome. And then I'll talk about how I still play guitar, but she's playing she, guitar for me. Well, you could have two guitars at the same time. Dueling guitars. Nice, the banjos. Who would you think about? <laughs> I want to see if Kendall, I wonder if Kendall Thompson has Instagram. So we got through all your social media. And your dates. Just so you're wondering why you're not getting your does. blue check, because they're yeah. all different. That's why. You what do you mean? your continuity. Oh my God. Is it blue check? He has it. He does. See? He Is has the blue check. He's official. Yeah. He's getting drafted first round. Oh, because all my things are different. Yeah. But his are different. It's Kendall Thompson 1. Yeah, number 1, not XO and such. But how do I change? Can I change that? Yeah. You can buy it from somebody. Someone oh, who has something close to you. Or you can put just... the Kendall Thompson. Yeah, or number 1. No, number but two. my YouTube is XO Kendall Thompson XO. That's why I did the XO Kendall Thompson XO. Yeah. And then my... Twitter. You said she was a social media wizard or something. Did you? No. Am I? No. I requested to follow the other Kendall Thompson. He's, good. Just He's a firm believer in our Lord and Savior, so oh, hopefully fuck. he takes pity on me and follows bless, me back. Bless your soul. No, maybe you can just sing, him, sing him some stuff. I know, I should be like, you should. S- sign the DM, so. so. How's that blue check mark treating you? Still not drafted? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> <laughs> call me when you're drafted. Come, call, call me when you're drafted, and you're ten years older. No, don't, don't worry about being ten years older. <laughs> Here we go. No, don't actually. Um, or should we sign off? Well, she doesn't want it. <laughs> Sorry, we can right. sign off. I'm you want to keep okay. going? No, it's, it's fine. You sure? I don't care. So you're going to work? We're going to get fried chicken. Oh, you're going to get fried chicken? Bar fancy. Did you say I'm going to work? No, he is. Yeah, oh, he's going to work. work. Elizabeth yeah. and I are going to get fried chicken. Am I you coming? To come? Yeah, yeah come. I'll come. We'll go to fancy. <laughs> All right. Well, this is the city podcast, yeah. and um, it made sense at one point, <laughs> but now it doesn't. <laughs> I'm Chad Cranston and Steve Millen, and I'm Kendall Thompson, and this is Elizabeth. 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 Oh no! Wait. Remember the beautiful Elizabeth. Elizabeth will you Macho marry Man me? Randy Savage is that? What? Will you marry me? The wrestler. Yeah, the wrestler you... Macho Man Randy Savage. <laughs> I don't this know. Pretty girl I had was her name was Elizabeth, and they called her. What do they call her? Elizabeth. 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 <laughs> Will you marry me? Uh, check all the social media stuff and thanks for coming on, guys. And the date Thank again? Thank you. Date one more time. November 16th. Pain Lady. Yes. 7.30 start. Oh, what street? Ossington. Ossington. Peaches is opening. Yes. Uh, Ciao, everybody. Bye. You are listening to The City Podcast. Unadulterated. Non-politically correct. Unfiltered. Real talk. The City from the Inside. Out with your hosts, Chad Cranston and Steve Mealy.
I'm needing that feeling